Hello guys, welcome back to Custom Gamer. Today we're going to be playing a map that's been remade many many times in the past. And we're going to look at the latest version of this remake. It is of course E1M1 from Quake. This footage you're seeing now is the original map from 1996 that shipped with the original game of Quake. I'm sure anyone that's played Quake has seen this level as it's the very first level of the first episode. It's in the Quake demo as well, the first level. And uh, the remake was made in 2000 and, ooh, 2004, I think, by CZG and Vonder. And it's another remix map, the 1M1 remix, the Slipgate Duplex, I believe it was called. And uh, the version we're going to play was made a year after, 2005. It was edited by Keller Necros. It's called the Slipgate Triplex, and it was um, adapted to work in the Quoth mod, so it's got some new enemies and power-ups and things like that. So uh, the main, re main reason I wanted to look at this is because you can really tell the difference between the original id map, which we're seeing here, and the remake, which is just a, you know, a hell of a lot more detail and some interesting new gameplay. And it's, it's always cool to see uh, how the secrets have been redone and added to and things like that as well. So without further ado, let's get into the game, shall we? So during this playthrough I'm going to show you where the new secrets are and uh, have a little inlay video of where the old secret was. You can see here the very first one, the ammo box. Still pretty much in the same place. <coughs> this area has been rejigged a bit. You can see down into the pit below which leads to the mega health area near the end of the map. Some health hidden there. It's not a secret, but it's a nice little nook you can explore. There's a super shotgun in there on anything less than hard difficulty. So here's the mega health secret. This foot just seen from the original would come at it from the other direction from the exit. This secret's been changed a little bit. There's actually two separate secrets now. You used to be able to run all the way through, but uh, now there's bars in the way which block you from doing that. So you can come at it from the other angle and uh, get another secret. It's very faithful to the original, it's just a hell of a lot more detailed. I just like this remake area the best. Particularly this secret, it's kind of a double-ended secret. You stay in the uh, cubby hole here. And you get dropped into an outside area. This is all completely new, it wasn't in the original at all. a couple of easter eggs a bit later on. the author's murals. <laughs> no, that was right, it was 2004 the original was made. So yeah, Keller Necros basically 
grab the map file from CCG and Bondor and added all the extra quoth entities to it, like the enemies and power-ups and whatnot. So I like the way that the water gets used a little bit more in this version. You know, there's two bio suits in the map this time rather than just the one. There's always plenty of secrets to find in water. This is the other secret in that area we talked about earlier. You see in the inlay, you just shoot that wall to go through. Now, the power up I picked up is a new power up in the It basically just makes all your nails a lot more powerful, but nothing else. And this next part is how we get the new mega health. If you remember in the original map, oh, my derp's there, we'll just reload that, there we go. Yeah, in the original map you just jumped off the uh, button platform, throw in. Slightly different in this version. Here we are, in the final combat room. And uh, this door here, that's the, way, the other way to get the mega health at the start that we got. And that is that. I missed an enemy somewhere. God knows where. <laughs> Alright guys, let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll see you guys next time with more Quake Map goodness. See you later.